um, for cover bowl is well, let's look at something a little bit more like this. Now, um, what you'll end up doing is you'll research uh, and talk to people that uh, that that'll have the knowledge already about what cover bowl um, you want to make for for each of your projects. I think you're doing four bowls. Um, but what I want to do is show you a bunch of different skills that, that you can take and then you can find these different bowls and hopefully you'll be able to design them using some of the techniques that you learn in this section. Now I'm going to make this bowl, um, and we could make it in a similar way, but I'm actually going to make this bowl slightly differently so that you learn some different skills um, that might be useful when you're doing your design. Um, and then the other thing was that last design that we did, uh, what we can do eventually is like this here and this here, we can chuck that top rim that you made in a laser cutter and we can laser cut patterns in, um, which you might have seen us do in the class. But let's go have a bit of a go at this and learn a few more skills for when you design your own bowls. So we're going to pop into Fusion, uh, we'll make a new tab, we'll do a sketch and this time we're actually not going to choose the bottom, we're going to choose one of the sides. So one of these side walls, I'll click that one. And again, we'll build up from the center point for our bowl. I'm going to use a line tool, and I'm going to go from the middle upwards, say, um, I don't even know really, but let's say up 150. Let's give that a go. Uh, and then across uh, 100, and just thinking about how big our machine is and what it'll cut. Uh, so 600 wide, so we go across 250 I think comfortably. Then we'll come back, I won't go all the way to here, but I'm going to draw to maybe there. And then come back and finish it off. We get this kind of triangle shape with a bit of a line at the bottom. And you'll see why we do that later. We'll finish that sketch, I'm happy with that. We're going to use this tool here called Revolve, which is really handy. Um, if it's got nothing selected, you can just see with that selection part selected, you can click that face. Now, this bit here is the axis that it spins on. So you click any of these lines and it will spin around. If I click the small line, it will spin around that. We'll get a tube with a bit of a shape through the middle. Um, but we don't want that one. We could click on that and get this funny shape. But we also don't want that. We want this one here. And that's going to give us a similar shape to the bowl that we're looking at. So I'm happy with that. And the reason I put that little flat bottom on there is so that we can do this with our fillet tool to kind of, let's just type a number of 10, no more than that, 30, 40, let's try 40, and that'll give us kind of a nice rounded bottle, bottom uh, like they have here. Okay, uh, let's go for a, let's do our legs first and we'll Come back. Let's see if we can do the front part. Now we're going to have to do. Oh yeah, no, I know how to do this. What we'll do is a new sketch, and these hopefully our original pop back up. Um, if it doesn't, you can use that eyeball there to bring it back, and click on one of the side walls again. It won't matter which one. And this time we're going to draw something similar to this shape. So we'll. Uh, near the top of the thing, the bowl, and go across, down. Um, now this bit here is a curve, which is going to be a bit different, so I'm going to show you a little different tool. Instead of using our line tool, we'll use the spline tool, which is that curvy one there. We'll click once here, click once in our middle bottom, middle line, maybe like there, and then I'm not going to move it because it'll be my line. I'm going to keep my mouse over that point and press enter, and that means my mouse is not attached to it anymore and I can use these green bits to bend it, and it's a little bit kind of like illustrator lines. I might bend it like that, and I'm happy with that, and I'm going to get my line tool and I'm just going to draw a line, not all the way, and press enter, oh, press escape, oh yeah. Press something and it'll work. And I've got half my thing drawn, and I'm just going to use the mirror tool 
So my object somewhere is that line, that line, that line. And then I select my mirror line, which is that one there, and it's going to flip it over both sides. When I click OK, it should have filled in a bit of a colour. Um, I'm going to go, I'm happy with that. I'll finish that sketch and I'm going to use my extrude tool on that. Bring it out. Now one thing I've noticed is it is cutting. We don't want that, we actually want it to join. So I'll click join on there and we have a bit of a look around and maybe bring it out to somewhere I'm happy. Um, let's bring it right out. Let's have a look at what they do. It looks like they've come out a wee bit um, and then follow the contour of the circle which we can do I'm sure. Let's bring it right out past the circle. Looks a bit funny for now but we can fix that up. Click OK. Now to fix that up I'm going to go back to my oh no I'm going to do a sketch on the top here. Do a big circle that goes way beyond and make sure it covers both of those points. Finish that sketch and now if I extrude the outside ring down and click OK, you can kind of see what we get in here. A bit more of a tidier look at that front piece. Um, and we might just extrude that bit up to the top and make that join. And that's going to tidy that front part up a little bit with our bowl. Um, and then these are just a few design features that you might want to do, like little bits of fillets um, on these edges. And this is totally up to you, but you can see that using these tools, now my computer's frozen. Caught back up a little bit. Um, so the last thing we're trying to do is run this fillet on this edge here. Um, so I'll click then, I hope it doesn't freeze this time, let's just type in like 30. Okay, and you see what that does, it just kind of gives you a blended edge there. Um, and so. It's totally up to you, like these are all just design features that you're going to probably play with and make your own design with, but you could fill up all the edges, maybe this one less drastically, just so you get a nice rounded edge on it. Um, and obviously when you when we machine this out of wood, we won't see those lines in it. Um, but yeah, have a play around with the these tools. And um, you, yeah, you'll be able to find the look that you're looking for. Um, but I'll let you do that and we'll focus on getting the legs in and then machining the top uh, and putting the bowl in the top. So let's, for our legs, let's do a sketch up on our, the top of our circle here and we're just going to have a think about where our legs might go in our bowl. Um, and the one we're looking at has about four legs, I think. Um, let's make a circle around there, which is an even point between these lines. And let's do again a circular pattern under create. Click the click our circle, select our center point, and click four. So we've got four circles there that are gonna end up being the base top base of our legs. Hopefully. I'm kind of making this up as I go a little bit, so we'll see how we get on. Um, we'll finish that sketch and we're gonna look at the bottom of where our legs are going to meet. So we're going to do another sketch at the bottom part. So clicking on that point there. And um, what we're going to do this time is we're actually going to press P on our keyboard for project. We're going to click just one circle. So I'll click whichever circle and click OK. And then from this circle, let's go to create. And then we'll use a two point circle this time. And we'll use from the center point out to that edge. Okay, and what that's giving us is a little circle here and a big circle up there, and we still see that big circle there. But if we again use our circular pattern tool, pick a little circle, click our center point, and give us four, click OK, and finish sketch. We're going to have all these circles around our drawing, and you'll see what we do with that. We're going to use a tool be called um, uh, maybe create loft. So when we loft, I'm going to loft from that circle 
to that circle. And it's going to give us a cut, but we want to make that a join and click OK. And you can see what we've got is one of our legs for our bowl. So let's go back into our uh, sketches, bring back that last sketch with the eyeball there. And we're just going to end our second last sketch because we need the tops and the bottoms. We're just going to have to go around um, and loft each one of these. And join, OK. And that's one side done. Loft, bottom to top, join, OK. Loft, bottom to top, join, OK. Sweet. We've got um, our bowl with the legs on it, and it actually looks quite good. If we go back to our drawing, uh, our picture, sorry. On this one, the legs are probably a little bit out wider. Um, oh, they definitely are. Um, again, this is going to be a design feature that you need to consider. So you're going to be thinking about what it looks like. But if you wanted to go back and to your sketches, you find where you put the initial circles and you double click on that. And we might be able to move, yeah, see if we move our circles like that and finish sketch. Our, um, our legs have moved. But we've got this slightly funny effect where the, the legs actually don't sit on, um, sit down straight. So we'd have to go back to this sketch too and work out where these go relative to that. Um, it's a slight improvement, but they're still a bit funny. So... In hindsight, I'm going to undo and just go back to how it was for now. And if I want to fix those legs, I might have to just go back in history and press delete on your keyboard. You can delete those sketches in those lofts and redo them. Um, but that's totally up to you. That's design feature. All right, to make our bowl shape, what we're actually going to do is go into our, our very first sketch by double clicking on that. And we're going to make another triangle inside our triangle something like that and finish that sketch okay now it's disappeared but if we go back to our sketches go to our very first one we've got that triangle again now i'm going to use back to the start go to our evolve tool and select that and then select our axis again which being this line here and see what that's done that's given us a nice shaped curve on the inside of our bowl and this is starting to really take shape um, like the cover bowl in our picture. And so now it would be a simple few things like filleting that edge, maybe that edge. Just a little bit, won't take much. And it'll make a huge impact on our, draw, on our um, design. <clears throat> um, looks good though. We can chuck, we could chuck some laser cut etching on the top here if you wanted to. You could do all sorts of things like um, we could do some work on this part here. But as a part that we're going to CNC machine, we'd probably just machine it uh, as it is. Might move those legs out again, um, but looks good. You can go to your visual style and get rid of the edges and get a bit more of a feel of what it looks like. Um, but there's another type of bowl design. You might have some skills now to go and look at what else is out here um, or what else you might have at home or um, people might have shown you and be like, okay, can I make that with the skills I've learned uh, doing these other two cover bowls? Um, and you might also send me some photos and I can make a new tutorial making one that you want to make.